I love how um, our love fest as a congregation is moving from just like, I can't wait to hug people, to like acts of violent love. I will drown you in tea and biscuits, says Merle. Like, we really aggressively need to be together again. There's a really neat New York Times article uh, that just came out about um, collective effervescence and that that is the joy we miss. And it's the being together. Uh, yeah, and so it's neat to see that uh, really starting to come out in people. Like, I just can't wait. Uh, to see, I'm not even a hugger, and I cannot wait to, like, tackle this congregation. Uh, I would also like to remind you uh, to, if you are watching this right now on YouTube or on Facebook, feel free to use the chat bar feature. Uh, some of the folks on our team will try to respond, uh, but talk to each other, welcome each other, greet each other. You have to, um, modern problems are require modern solutions, like find ways to greet each other uh, this morning, even across the internet. Okay, let's quiet our hearts and minds. Let's approach God in prayer. We're going to keep with our creation theme, very earthy in July, and I will invite you to join me in a unison prayer of confession. So let's pray. Great God, lover of life, you give sweet air and clean water. You give us a healthy garden in which to breathe and drink. You are the God of the seedling, of snow, of sun that melts snow. You are the God of birds chasing birds and of puppies chasing their tails. You are the God of bunnies feasting on sweet garden greens and cucumber slices that look like tires. So let us touch the earth lightly, the earth you love and for which you came, died, and rose again. Creative creator, you took soil in your hands, you breathed your spirit into it, and you crafted us in your own image. Out of love and grace, you invited us to live in loving communion with you and your glorious creation. You appointed us, earth keepers and caretakers, to tend the earth, enjoy it, and love our neighbors. Spirit of God, you call and equip us and use our skills for the unfolding and well-being of this, your world, so that creation and all who live in it may flourish. Recalling all of this, we are reminded, sadly, that we so often neglect our task. And it is this remembering that leads us to confess our sin and to humbly seek your forgiveness. So please join me in a unison prayer of confession. Creator God, we confess that all too often we have ignored and denied your lordship of the land entrusted to us by assuming the right to do with it as we please, by taking more from it than we have returned to it, by taking for granted its productivity, by denying justice to many who have labored on the land, by wanting food for less than it costs to produce. We confess that material values rather than kingdom realities have often determined our relationships. We have indulged our appetites with little consideration for others. We have been more interested in our neighbor's land than in our neighbor. We have harbored bitterness and resentments because of economic problems. We are not reconciled to some who have hurt us, even members of your body. Lord of creation, have mercy on us. Grant us peace with you and with each other in Christ. Amen.
Friends, God is kind, God is forgiving, God is slow to get angry and quick to be glad. We are forgiven and today is a new day. Thanks be to God. Amen.